we are supposed to live an austere life. And that includes not indulging ourselves with too much food. But there is more to eating than simple food consumption. It is also an opportunity to bring all the community together. So that is why this place, the freighter or dining hall, is so important in the life of the Abbey. St. Benedict had quite a lot to say about eating and drinking, but then of course he was an Italian, so you might expect that. Another quote from his rule, we consider it to be enough for the daily meal, whether at the sixth or ninth hour, two cooked dishes to be served, allowing for the weaknesses of different eaters. If a monk cannot eat of one dish, he may still make a meal from the other. And if fruit or tender vegetables are to be had, a third dish may be added. Mind you, St. Benedict did say if a monk had been doing hard manual work, then his allowance of food should be increased, at the discretion of the abbot, of course. And the rule was inclined to be vegetarian. All must refrain from eating the flesh of quadrupeds, except for the sick when they are really weak. And as to drink, half a pint of wine daily should be enough. And to directly quote again the good St. Benedict, wine leads even wise men into infidelity. And at all times when we were eating, silence prevailed, apart from one monk who was chosen each week to read the Holy Gospel out loud during the meal. A special language of hand signals was developed so that we could communicate with each other without speaking. 